Hey guys, it's me Staffles here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a timer just like this one here, where it converts it into days, hours, minutes, and seconds. As you can see, it's set to 9 o'clock right now, and 14 minutes and 20 seconds. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is make a base plate or just a place in Roblox Studio. And then once you get in, just place a part down. Here's your part right here. There, this will be, there's only one part to this timer. So this will be your timer right here. So you know, just size it however you want. I think that looks pretty good. And then once you get it to uh, your size, you want to go in the Explorer. If you don't know how to open the Explorer, go in your View tab up here, and then just make sure that this is put in. Also make sure that your Properties is put in, just like that. And then you'll see your part in the Explorer. Just press, uh, right click on it, and then press Rename. And then I'm just going to make mine called Timer. You can name it whatever you want, but I recommend calling it Timer. Alright guys, so the next step is to go on the um go hover over the timer and then press plus so once you hover it you can press plus and then type in surface and you'll see surface gy just put that in i already have mine in and then once you do that you want to go on surface gy put a plus on the surface gy right here and put in a text label it should be the first one so once you see set text labor label uh, you want to find the face that it's on, so you can see mine's on this face. And if you want to change that, you just have to go to this. Right here, face. Mine's on the front, right here. Just put it on the back, and then it should be over here. Yep. So, um, now you want to make, you want to size it up, right? So, um, you, you want to go on the properties tab, and then search up size. And then right here, you'll see size. So for X, we can just make it one. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I had a little bit of trouble with the um, size. So what you need to do is just click the arrow right here. And then make sure you're on the first one right here. And then just type in one. And then right here, just type, um, hold on. Just type in one on the first one. And boom, it will automatically scale up to whatever you think is. You don't have to like play around with the offset or anything. And it will scale down on whoever's you on however on the tablet and all that. Next thing you want to do is, as you can see in my timer here, literally all we need to do is just put in a script in the text label. Oh, um, if I were you, I would put a, uh, I would rename the text label like just how we rename the part right here. So just right click on it, press rename, and then type in timer label like that. And then right here, I would rename it timer GUI. If you guys don't know what a GUI is, it basically just is like with text and stuff. Um, so we're doing service GUIs, which is related to parts. I might make tutorials in the future on how to do GUIs, like that pop up on your screen and all that. But that's for another time. So once you have all this set up, your size and everything, just make sure that it says one on each in the first one. Uh, just press the plus on it. Don't do local script. Make sure to do script. Rename the script to timer script. And so now uh, let me go into the next segment real quick so I can teach you guys about something. All right, guys, so how, how a lot of people use timers in uh, Roblox is um, this thing called Epoch and Unix time. So how this stuff works is a long time ago, uh, they set, they uh, like people set up this timer and um, it, ever since then, it's been counting the uh, epoch time. So you can see right here, the current time keeps updating. And that's the number. So what you need to do is, um, I'll have the website in the description, by the way, but it's epochconverter.com. Go to it, type in the date. So you can see mine's 2021, 2021. The month is 2, February 2. Day is 1, February 1st. 
the hour is nine, which would be so this is this is the target time. So nine is going to be when I want it to go. Minutes is zero, so it's going to be exactly nine p.m. And then right here, you want to make sure that it says local time, and then just press this button. And then right here, you'll have your timestamp. Just press Control C, or press Copy. And then go back in your uh, script, and then just say. So now we're going to create a variable for that uh, time. So we're just going to say local tar. We'll just say time start equals, and then just paste in that number, and boom! Now you have your time start. So now let's get into the actual script. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making an event for what happens when it reaches the time. So for me, it would be 9 a.m. So we're going to just type in function. This is creating a new function, and then we're going to name the function the event, make sure to put in two parentheses. And then once you press enter, it should automatically put an end for you. Um, I don't really want anything to happen since I don't, I'm don't. i not making this for a game or anything. So I'm just going to have it print just by saying print in two parentheses. Put in two uh, quote marks and then just type in maybe like event started. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual time changing part. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in wow. This is a loop in Roblox. I'll have a link for loops in the description if you want to learn about them. Wow. Wait. One. This means like it's waiting one second every time. Do. Boom. So every one second it will do this. Obviously we want the timer to do something every one second so it can change its time. So what we need to do here, as you can see in my other script, we're defining the local time, or our, our current time. And Roblox already has this setup, so we're just going to type in local, that's how we set up a variable, current time equals os.time. os.time is Roblox's system for time, which converts to epoch time. So that obviously, so what we're, this is, uh, it's doing the math for what, like how, how long it's going to be until we get there. So if I, if I were you, I would just put local t equals time start minus current time. So that's just doing the math to find what exact time it is or how long it is. So now here, if you were to do it just by alone and you didn't have to include this chunk of code right here, um, it would just tell the seconds. But as you guys saw in the little clip at the beginning, it told like the exact time, which uh, that that's what that's what we want. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna copy this in. It's basically just uh, taking the percentage of the time and then just converting it. So obviously there's 60 seconds in a minute. If there's over 60 seconds, it's gonna convert it into one minute. Uh, it's using math.floor. I'll have a description. <clears throat> I mean, I'll have a link in the description for um math.floor is a pretty confusing and advanced topic but <clears throat> it's a good thing to know so the next thing we're going to do in here is um we're so this is this chunk of code right here it says if current time that's the current time that we have up here is greater than or equal to so greater than obviously it means if it's if the time is over 9 a.m then obviously you want the event to start right so if it's over that, then you want the the text to say starting the event, and then you're gonna break, and then you're gonna make the event, and then you're gonna break the script so that you, it doesn't go on for any longer. But if that isn't happening, then you're gonna have this, where we are saying time to event, and then we're gonna concoct with, uh, we're, we're just gonna. So, but what the what the two dots mean is in Roblox to put code, like so. Let's say you want to say like the time. For something you want to put like you know time to start game and then you want a variable for your game obviously right here so you want to put in uh th th so i'll leave just I'll, I'll leave a link for it in the description and so we're just concocting with everything in here and then we're breaking it or no, not breaking it but we're that's what's going to happen if it isn't so we're just going to copy this boom so now our uh, timers, our timers should work. So let's just test it out real quick. 
I'm going to press play here. As you can see, this is time to event. As you can see, it's 8.59. So let's just open up our output here. How to open up your output. This is where like, if something prints, it will show up in the output. You go to your view tab. Um, you go, it's like the fourth one down. Or not, the fifth one uh, in the thing. Right under object browser, you press output. Right here, it will tell you if you have errors in your script and also if it prints something. So we're just going to wait. I'll come back to you guys once it is almost there. Alright guys, so I actually knocked it over because it wasn't anchored, but as you can see, it's at 5 seconds. And then once it says event started, and then event fired. As you can see, uh, 9 a.m. So that's how you do it guys. Um, if you, actually, if you guys wanted to know how to make your text bigger, as you can see mine was a little bit small. To do that, oops, I actually just deleted that. Um, to do that, you just gotta go to it and then uh, timer label, and then just make sure your text down here. You want to go in properties, and you could just look up rich. You see rich text, just mark that. And also, you want to mark uh, scale. There we go. Now it's much, much bigger. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, I really appreciate it. And. If you were confused on any of the topics, for example, you know, the dot dots may look weird for you. I'll put a link for it in the description. Roblox has a whole wiki. If you guys get confused on it, just look up in the Roblox wiki or the developer forums. Both are really good places. If you're confused on math.floor, I'll have a link for it in the description. Uh, yeah, so make sure to uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you liked it. And um, stay developing.